Good morning. It is Thursday, July 28th. Whew. Where did July go, huh? Tell this summer to slow down. I'm not ready for August yet. <laughs> my name is Irene Mahoney. I'm a certified health coach with Optivia. Today is my client support call, so I'm going to reach out to my clients and uh, just see how they've been doing. I was uh, at the convention last week, so I didn't really talk to too many of my clients. So hopefully they are all having wonderful summers. Hopefully you're having a wonderful summer. Um, and hopefully you're talking to your coach, right? You're supposed to talk to your coach like at least once a month, if not, if you're newer, once a week. So if you haven't talked to your coach for a while, reach out to your coach, you know, text him, be like, hey, what's up? Just wanna let you know how I did in July, let you know what my August goals are. You know, the accountability piece is why this program has a coach. So reach out to your coach and um, let them know how you're doing. If you're looking for a coach, I'm going to drop my email down below, iemahoney at yahoo.com. I'd love to help you in this program. So reach out to me. We'll set up a time to chat and uh, I'd love to find out your health goals and see which of the programs would be a perfect fit for you. All right, to kick today off, I've got the dark roast iced coffee blended together with the mocha shake this morning. Mm. So that's delicious. Um, I'm gonna get in the office, get some work done, and I'll see you back here in a little bit for fueling too. I got a Zoom coming up here in a minute and I just thought I would grab my second fueling. So I just made some French vanilla iced coffee and blended that up with the chocolate shake because <clears throat> it's nice and easy to drink a shake and be on a training. The other thing is I love that the shakes take me like 30 minutes to eat. And then before you know it, it's time for fueling three. So I'm gonna enjoy this, get back to my training Zoom, and um, I'll see you for fueling three. Okay, All right, cool. we're having a little Chinese food here at my aunt's house. So I guess I had my lean and green for lunch today. Um, that was sort of a surprise, but if I'm being honest, there's no food in my house, and I was looking at grab and take out tonight anyways. So Chinese is so hard. It's so hard to make good choices. Everything's delicious, everything's fried, everything has sugar on it. So I did go with that chicken and vegetable as my main sort of thing on the plate and then a little bit of the pork strips. But I do know that the pork strips are delicious because they're marinated in whatever delicious sugarness of awesomeness that is. So ah. Uh, Gonna give it about a C plus for my leaning green today, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna have, um, where even am I? I'm on my fourth meal of the day here. I'm gonna have the campfire s'mores bar. I'm gonna go out and get a little bit of a walk in, but it's super muggy. Um, so I'm not sure how many steps I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna try to get some in and sometimes trying is all that matters. So there you go. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy my Campfire s'mores bar real quick, get outside, grab some steps, forget about the Chinese food, and just focus on the fact that I still get to have first and second dessert after I have this delicious s'mores bar. So not a bad way to uh, end the day. All right, I will see you in a couple hours. Let's figure out what else we're making for dessert. Managed to get outside. I got a couple of steps in. We're only at about 6,000, but that's not bad for this hot muggy day. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna call it a win. Uh, came in and all I want is ice cream. So I blended up a double batch of the chocolate mint ice cream. So I took about a cup of ice. I blended it up into the snow cone. And then I added a cup of the vanilla almond milk. Um, because that gives it a little creamier texture. It does count as a condiment, which after my lunch, I'm, I'm not sure I had, but that's okay. It does count as a condiment. Um, and then two fuelings, I put two packages of the chocolate mint soft serve in here and blended it up. 
and um, it is a little bit like soft serve. It's not exactly shake consistency. I might let it sit in the freezer for a little bit. It might not. Um, or I'll eat half of it soupy and then in two hours, hopefully that looks a little bit more like, um, like a little bit more of an ice cream than a soup. Um, but I think I'm gonna enjoy half of this now and I'll see you back here in two hours, see if we can get it to be a different texture. Time for the second half of the chocolate mint soft serve. Um, so I had it in the freezer and a little bit in the fridge and I think we thickened it up a little bit more to look like ice cream. And hopefully it doesn't taste too much like frozen ice. Sometimes I do that, that's fun. Hmm. Nope, it's delicious. It's hot, it's humid here. If you're feeling like ice cream, this is a really great treat to end your day with. Mm. So I'm gonna enjoy my dessert. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Drop some comments down below. I'm gonna go visit Christina for a little bit. Maybe I will make you a video while I'm visiting her. Um, but other than that, I'll see you in a little bit.